Hi everyone! One of the most common tasks in Google Sheets is identifying and removing duplicate entries. Luckily, Google Sheets makes it easy. In this video, we'll explore different ways to highlight duplicates using conditional formatting. We'll cover highlighting repeated values, whole rows with repeated values, multi-part duplicates, and highlighting only second, third, and so on duplicates. So let's dive in. In this example, we have a list of employees and their salaries. Each employee should have only one entry. To highlight duplicate names, we'll use conditional formatting rules with custom formulas. I find it helpful to first create the formula directly in the sheet, especially for more complex use cases we'll cover later in the video, and then transfer it to the conditional formatting. Now let's create the formula that counts how many times a value appears in the range. The key function we'll use is count if. It takes two arguments. The range of values to count, this is where we check for duplicates, and the value or expression to check for. We'll use an open range as the first argument to ensure the range doesn't shift when applied across different cells. Alternatively, you can use a fixed range like this one to keep it stable. To highlight duplicates, we'll compare this result to 1. If a value appears more than once, the formula will return true triggering the conditional formatting. If you want to highlight duplicates only after a certain number of occurrences, you can adjust this number. Now let's create a conditional formatting rule. Select the range you need to highlight. Go to Format, Conditional Formatting. Add a rule and choose Custom Formula. Paste the formula we created earlier and set your highlight color. Important. The second argument in the count if must reference the top left cell in the range you are formatting. Now we see that all duplicate names are highlighted. Next, let's highlight an entire row if there is a duplicate in a specific column. We'll tweak the previous formula by making the columns absolute. Count if, a fixed range referring to column A, and cell A1 with the column fixed compared to 1, and apply this rule to all relevant columns. Here's how it works. Conditional formatting evaluates each cell separately. Relative references in the formula are adjusted based on the position of the cell relative to the top left of the selected range. By fixing the column, the rule checks the values from column A for all rows and columns. Now let's consider a different example with daily sales reports from different cities. In this case, a row is a duplicate if both the date and city values are repeated. To handle this, we'll use COUNTIFS function, which accepts multiple pairs of range and values. COUNTIFS. The first argument is the reference to column A. It must be absolute in this case. Then the reference to the first cell in the column A with the column fixed. Then fixed reference to column B, and cell B1 with a fixed column. And we also compare it to 1. This formula checks both columns A, dates, and B, cities, highlighting rows where the combination of values occurs more than once. Now let's create a conditional formatting rule. Sometimes you might want to highlight only the second, third, or subsequent duplicates. We can modify the first formula we used to achieve this result. Count if reference to column B with the first row fixed and then cell B1 and again compare it to 1. The key difference here is that we've fixed the starting row while keeping the ending row relative. The range will grow as the formula is applied down the column so only later instances of duplicates are highlighted. That wraps up our guide to highlighting duplicates in Google Sheets using conditional formatting. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tips.